the potential for developing a political struggle that will in fact cement strategic alliances with environmental justice groups, with elected officials who in fact understand the dangers that big oil presents to Mother Earth. There's something huge happening that most people are trying to ignore. If our system is predicated upon continued violence and rape of the land, then there's no just future for us as a society. This is a momentous day, and this is not the end of the movement, just the beginning. This tribe is not the only tribe facing threats from oil companies, mining companies. In fact, we're in a flint moment. But in Indian country, we've had thousands of flints for generations. We have a natural inclination to want to spiritually liberate ourselves and to connect ourselves with the universe. If there's things in the way of that, then we're going to instinctually work toward creating circumstances where we do, we feel liberated, we feel good, we feel like how you feel when you sing or when you dance or when you laugh or when you're able to disconnect from time, from, from the clocks, from currency, from your credit cards, from your ID, like at that camp. that challenging spirit that is in each and every one of us. So the linear age of man is over. And it's time for the woman to step up. The first <laughs> the circular motion must be put in place. Oh, yeah. You can't learn this in a book. You can only learn it with face-to-face -face contact and that open heart to say, I give of my day or I give of my half of my day or a couple of hours. Because when you learn these things, it's, it's a gift to you that you can take home and share with you know, others and share with your loved ones because it's free, you know? Um, it'd be sad if, you, if we all kept these gifts to ourselves and then we died with these gifts and we didn't share them. I know the Creator would be pretty upset that we didn't share those, so... Um, yeah, there's a bigger picture that's really missing out of this, and that is getting in touch with who we are as human beings. I really have a lot to be grateful for. I'm receiving so much love here. I don't know when I'm gonna go home. <laughs> Just kidding. We are no longer a camp. We are a community. There are 7,000 people, 7,000 strong. We have an aggressive and ambitious community. We are universal and we are a pluralistic society and that encompasses all. We are talking about a voting block 
to get our tribal member into Congress in the state of North Dakota. <laughs> important for the larger picture and what's going on but I don't, I don't know how to make it live other than you know everybody who's there has to take a little bit of what's good there and keep that flame lit keep tending that flame and making making sure it never ends <laughs> <laughs> 